It was just another day at work for Javier Cruz, a Disney World costume performer who played as Pluto. Javier was getting ready for work one day when something horrible happened, permanently changing the lives of his family and everyone around him. This is the unfortunate death of Javier Cruz. Javier Cruz was more than just a parade performer at Disney World. He was a devoted family man, a loyal friend, and a compassionate member of his community. He was born and raised in Florida, where he grew up with a love of music and dance. From a young age, Javier had a natural talent for performing and loved nothing more than entertaining others with his skills. He was often described as a pretty wacky kid who liked to do things for others' entertainment. Javier's family was his greatest source of pride and joy. He was a loving husband to his wife and a proud father to their two children, though all three of them have chosen to remain anonymous. His friends and family describe him as someone who always put others before himself, never hesitating to lend a helping hand or a listening ear. Javier's infectious laughter and positive attitude made everyone feel at ease around him. Outside of work, Javier had many interests and hobbies. He loved spending time with his family, listening to music and watching movies. He was an avid soccer player and played in a local league with his friends. Javier was known for his warm personality and his ability to make everyone feel included, no matter where they came from. It wasn't a surprise to anybody when Javier got a job at Disney World, though they were a bit shocked when they found out that he had elected to work as a custodian. As time went on, however, his innate skills and charm would shine through and his career path would change for the better. Javier Cruz's story is a testament to the power of hard work and determination. When he first started at Disney World, he was a custodian tasked with cleaning the park and ensuring that it remained a safe and enjoyable environment for guests. While some may have seen this as a dead-end job, Javier approached it with a positive attitude and a willingness to go above and beyond. It was this work ethic that caught the attention of his superiors. They saw in Javier a natural talent for performing and encouraged him to audition for a role as a parade performer. Javier was nervous at first. He had never performed in front of such large crowds before, but he was determined to seize the opportunity. He still remembered the various shows and plays that he had put on as a child, of course, and it was this that spurred him on. Javier's audition was a resounding success. He impressed the casting directors with his natural grace, his infectious energy, and his ability to engage with the audience. Before long, Javier was given the role of a parade performer and quickly became one of the most beloved figures at Disney World. He was given the role of a Disney character that you all might recognize, Pluto. As a parade performer, Javier's talent and dedication were on full display. He performed in a number of shows and parades, including the Main Street Electrical Parade and Mickey's Jam and Jungle Parade. His performances were always met with enthusiastic applause from guests who appreciated the joy and energy that he brought to every show. But it wasn't just Javier's performances that made him a beloved figure at Disney World. It was also his positive attitude and his willingness to help others. Whether he was interacting with guests or fellow cast members, Javier always had a smile on his face and a kind word to say. He became an inspiration to many, showing that with hard work and determination, anything is possible. He was almost exactly the Disney motto personified, and that was what the company was looking for. Not all was right in the world, however, and unfortunately, his time at Disney would soon tragically come to an end. On February 2004, tragedy struck. Javier was performing in a parade when he was struck by a float. His foot got caught underneath one of the parade floats and he was dragged underneath it. There were several agonizing moments when the float kept moving despite people hearing him screaming from beneath it. It was near the end of the parade, so there were not many onlookers, but the people who were there said the incident scared them for life. He was dragged for several hundred feet before the parade controllers finally brought the float to a halt. Despite the best efforts of the emergency responders on the scene, he succumbed to his injuries and passed away. It was the first death on Disney property in over five years. The news of Javier's death sent shockwaves throughout Disney World and beyond. His family, friends, and colleagues were devastated by the loss of such a kind and talented individual. Guests who had seen Javier perform over the years were also deeply affected. 
many of them leaving heartfelt messages and tributes at the site of the accident. In the aftermath of the tragedy, an investigation was launched to determine the cause of the accident. The investigation found that a miscommunication between the parade float drivers and the parade control team had led to the accident. According to reports, the parade control team had instructed the drivers to begin moving the floats, but Javier's foot had gotten caught underneath one of them. The driver was unaware of the situation and continued to move the float, dragging Javier along with it. The incident sparked a conversation about safety at theme parks and the responsibility that companies like Disney have to ensure the well-being of their employees and guests. Disney World released a statement expressing their condolences to Javier's family and promising to review their safety protocols to prevent similar accidents from happening in the future. Javier Cruz's death was a tragic event that deeply affected his family, friends, and colleagues. The incident sparked an investigation by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, which found that Disney World had violated several safety regulations that could have prevented the accident. This was most notable within the parade section of the park, where there were more safety violations than in every other section combined. The case brought attention to the issue of workplace safety and the importance of taking measures to ensure the well-being of employees. The family of Javier Cruz filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Disney, alleging that the company had failed to maintain a safe work environment and adequately train its employees. The lawsuit was eventually settled out of court for an undisclosed amount. Javier Cruz's death also had a profound impact on the Disney community. His former colleagues organized a memorial service to honor his memory and pay their respects. The incident served as a wake-up call for the company prompting them to reevaluate their safety procedures and make changes to prevent similar accidents from happening in the future. The tragedy of Javier Cruz's death is a reminder of the importance of safety in the workplace and the need for companies to take responsibility for the well-being of their employees. While nothing can bring Javier back, his legacy continues to inspire and his story serves as a call to action for employers to prioritize safety and protect their workers. The death of Javier Cruz left a profound impact on his family, friends, and the wider community. In the wake of his passing, his family filed a lawsuit against Disney World, alleging negligence and seeking justice for his death. The case went to trial, and after a lengthy legal battle, a settlement was reached between the Cruz family and Disney World. While the details of the settlement were not made public, it was widely reported that Disney had agreed to make changes to their safety protocols and procedures. Javier's family and friends also sought to honor his memory and legacy in various ways. In 2005, the Javier Cruz Memorial Scholarship was established in his honor, providing financial assistance to students pursuing degrees in performing arts. The scholarship continues to be awarded annually to this day. Additionally, Javier's former colleagues at Disney World paid tribute to him in their own way. They created a special plaque in his honor that was installed backstage at the Magic Kingdom near the parade route where he used to perform. The plaque reads, In memory of our friend and colleague Javier Cruz, your love for the Magic Kingdom will always be remembered. Rest in peace. Javier Cruz may have been taken from this world too soon, but his legacy continues to live on through the countless lives he touched during his time at Disney World. So that's Javier Cruz the man behind the costume. From his humble beginnings as a custodian to his rise as a parade performer, he was a beloved member of the Disney community. Although his death was a huge loss, it sparked change and led to safer work environments for thousands of employees. It's a testament to the impact Javier had on the world around him. His legacy will live on through the memories of those who knew him and the impact he made on the world. May Javier Cruz rest in peace.